Alright, what's going on everybody, and welcome to Buried Zombies Live. Enough walking <laughs> All right, for so this today. is going to be the start of a new series I'm going we to call a Zombies here. Tour, which is basically where we go through all the Zombies In maps, we play it live, and we usually include some challenges or like broken. a round we want to hit or a certain Damn. amount of points we want to hit. So I figured I'd start with Buried as it is the new Zombies map, and I did do an insane amount of coverage as soon as it dropped on July 2nd. So I figured I'd take a more leisurely approach towards the map, and we just do like a simple live comp. Our goal this for this live com is to earth? get to uh, round 30 or at least 100,000 points, and at that case, we will down ourselves. So this is going to be a speed run, so we're going to get through this as quickly as possible. So um, yeah, we're not going to use the bank at all, although because that's a, I find that kind of a bit cheaty. You know, I put the points in there for a reason, I know, but um, at the same time, I want this to be as fun as possible. And you know, just grabbing 10,000 points out of the bank. From the start isn't exactly the best way or most fun way to play zombies. So we're just going to play this as if we have no money in the bank and we're just trying to get through this as fast as possible. So that means we're going to get Luger out of his cage, we're going to pack a punch, we're going to get all our perks, that kind of crazy stuff. So let's just kill these guys, I believe. Yeah, let's just get going with it. We've got no use in staying up here. Now you guys are probably wondering why I didn't grab the LSAT. Personally, I don't really find myself too complacent with the LSAT. I don't really like it all that much, honestly. So let's just grab all this crazy stuff right here. Go grab our little teddy bear right here. Hey, dude. And uh, let's just go turn on the power. Now, if you guys didn't know, this is a simple way to go turn on the power. It's not a free way, as you do have to buy that 750 door. However, it is a rather quick way to get into the saloon as well as turn on the power extremely quickly. So you can choose, like, go through the saloon right here. Or you can come through here and turn on the power like you see me doing right now. And if you guys want to go up the bank, it's right up there. But I'm sure most of you already know all this stuff about Buried as it is. Not necess it's not really a new map anymore, honestly. So, yeah. Now all you PS3 users, and you guys are PS3 users, and you do find yourself on this video, well, I hope you guys are going, you guys are going to be so thrilled with this map, honestly, there's so many new additions that just make this map unique, and this RPG is, of course, we get ourselves an RPG, that is not great. Alright, so let's just go let Leroy out of his cage, so he can go and start breaking through some crap for us. Alright, so, while Richtofen babbles on over us, we're going to try and talk over Richtofen. Oh, that's pretty difficult. Alright, so, oh, RPG, it's probably not the best idea when uh, fighting some zombies. Alright, so we got ourselves an insta-kill, and hopefully we don't get down here, let's just regain some health real quick. The zombies taking us from behind. Alright, so just get the booze and break out of here. Come on now, pick up the booze, please. Alright, and let's get Leroy to break through here like a gentleman. And kill all the lady prostitutes, because that's all the ladies are on this map are prostitutes. Not sure why it is that way. But I, wait, I think we need um, 1,250 points to break through, or buy into the saloon, rather, where we can find ourselves with some brand new booze. So let's see, yep, got some booze in here. And we're going to get Leroy to break into Juggernaut anyway. first, and then we'll start breaking him into other areas of the map. Okay, so come on, Leroy. Hopefully I can get him straight into it right here. Now, if you guys didn't know already, if you give Leroy some booze, he will run into uh, the barricades, and he will get into that area for you. Now, the further away you set off Leroy to break into a barrier, the further or the more points you'll get. So I sent him off from about right, right here or so, and I got nearly 1,500 points from that, which is insane compared to the 200 we got from breaking him out of the jail. Oh, Max Sam already fantastic. All right, so we broke into Juggernaut so far, which is great. And now we're going to get him to break into the gun shop and then into this part of the map over here. So hopefully we can get something good. Real. Great stuff. Now, I thought I got the toy box perk real. Oh, yeah, I do. So when you have the teddy bear on there, that usually means that when there's a double points, you can get a half off box run. And uh, the box tends to stay in that location longer and yield you better weaponry. So let's see if that's the case. We'll spin the box one more time. I'm sure we're already using enough points on it as is. So, all right. So we got a hammer and a glial, which are some pretty decent weapons, honestly. They're pretty good, actually. I'll take that back. I really like the glial. It's one of my personal favorites from Black Ops days. So let's just get Leroy, grab him a booze real quick, so we can break him through to some of the better parts of the map. Now, since Leroy's already over in this section of the map, I think I'm just going to bring him over here and have him break through to this area of the map. Now, if you line him all the way at the end of this little patio way here, you will get about 1,500 or so points. I believe that's the cap on it. He doesn't give you many more points than that. Because that would just be a bit overpowered at that point, giving that many points. So, yep, we'll break through there. 
and 1300 points. So that's a pretty good haul right there. Alright, so let's just slaughter up all these zombies real quick or gain through these rounds as speedily as possible. Anybody else want to screw with me? Not us. Not today. Anybody? Anybody who wants to mess with me? Didn't think so. Sounds like somebody's up here. And once we kill a zombie, we will get ourselves yet another booze, and we'll break through to the Gunslinger's office. So that's probably the best place to go with that. So hopefully, if uh, usually when I find myself running into the bar or the saloon when the round cycles and I'm looking for a, a thing of booze, it doesn't tend to spawn in there. So I guess it doesn't like it when you're peeping on it. I guess we were even peeping on it right there. So I think it spawned back in the jailhouse. As far as I know, the only places it can spawn are in the jailhouse as well as the saloon. Hopefully that is the case. I found it nowhere else, so it should be in here. Yep. Okay, so we'll line up Leroy over here to break into the Gunslinger's no office so we can put the PDW and the SVU on the wall over here. Now, if you guys don't know, one of the perma perks in this map is the uh, sniper rifle perma perk, in which case you get a lot more points for using sniper rifles. As a matter of fact, whenever you get it, you tend to get like um, about 500 or so points per kill with a sniper rifle, which is astronomical compared to like how you normally get or how many points you normally get with a, like I say, a Galil. So let's just try and play it safe right here because we don't have Juggernaut quite yet. You know, it's probably a good idea. Let's just go by that right now. While all these zombies encroach on us. Now, Leroy usually gets in the way right here. I'll be like getting all up on our grill and he's going to make sure the zombies. Yeah, let's see if we can't launch him from here. All right. I'm just going to try and shoot the legs right here. Now, if he manages to get through here. Oh, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, if he hits like the very edge of it. Oh, he might. He might. Oh, dang. Leroy, you are a dummy head. You know that, sir? You are a big dummy. <laughs> All right, so just go grab ourselves another booze because we are obviously a bit off right there with our aim. So that's a bad thing to do with Leroy, so you get him into a corner while you're trying to find off zombies because you will probably find yourself shooting him, which is not good because he will get upset and he will go cry like a little girl in his jail cell like, we, like he was when we found him. So let's just try and back him up a bit more for maximum pointage. Like so. And we should be able to ram him right into the barricade over here. So come on, Leroy. Do your magic, boy. Oh, wait, no. It looks like he's aiming right there. All right, great. Okay, so we're going to punch the PDW as well as the SVU in this part of the map. So right after this round here, we will start grabbing some more booze. And we will break into some other parts of the map. So just drop the PDW right here. And we'll do the SVU on the stairs. So let's just go grab the SVU right here. Now, I'll probably put the Galva Knuckles up on the saloon, but since we don't like have to keep buying them off the wall, considering the fact that we don't die, but <laughs> we're not going to do that because we never die. We're survivors. But when we do, in fact, need the Galva Knuckles, we'll put them in some other part of the map because we only do need to access them once. So let's just grab these glorious stuff right here, and we'll just continue on. So let's just keep trucking. Double, double points. points. Actually, no, I'll try out my theory right here. Right. Whenever it's a double points and you use a toy box, it's like a half-off box. I guess that's not the case here. Usually that is. I'm not sure why it's not this time. Oh, the time bomb. Fantastic. Now, the time bomb is a great thing to have, and it allows us to get um, double perks over at... Oh, Rega Mark II. Are you serious? I love this. Here, let's, let's just spin the roulette wheel one more time just to see if we can better our luck. Kill the rest of these Zed right here. And the Paralyzer? Are you kidding me? That was, that was like the three best things you get out of the Mystery Box right there. That is insane. I can't believe we got that good of a haul from the Mystery Box. Jeez, this has never been that kind to me before. All right, so just grab this other booze right here, and we'll get Leroy to break through to either the church and or the, the church. Or no, the church or the manor house. So we'll be able to get ourselves some great stuff. I think we'll just get a breakthrough over here to the manor house as we do need to pack a punch and get the two perks from our lovely ladies. So I'm going to try and line up these fellas right here like a mouse. All right, come on, come on, Leroy. It's time for you to do your job, son. There's no time for lagging behind. You know, I'm not even going to, like, mess around with this one right here. I'm just going to get him to, you know, straight talk with Mike Gallagher right here. Let's just get it done. All right, here we go. Hopefully he's going to break through and he doesn't hit his head on a tree branch like he's done so many times. Please, Leroy, just do your job. All right, great stuff. So we are through right there. And let's just go buy another boost just for the sake of it. Actually, you know what? We should probably be able to grind up enough points right here with the Paralyzer. So let me just get enough people over here so we can have enough points to buy ourselves another boost, which we'll just go do right now, as well as Speed Cola, which is 3K. 
So let's just hoard them up right here, sneak right through negotiate. because we are that Peaceful we are solution. boss. Look at this. We are weaving in and out. Weave, weave, serpentine. Let's just paralyze these guys up. Your temporary paralysis will now be over. Alright, so we are finding ourselves cornered here. I don't think so. Let's just let this thing cool down. Come on, Leroy. Come on, dude. Got no time to dilly dally. There's so many zombies behind you, dude. Jeez, I try and knife him, man. I'm like right in front of him. It just doesn't quite work. Alright, Leroy, come on. Just right over here, dude. Just a couple more steps. Alright. Oh, it's not getting close enough. Oh, come on, dude. Jeez, I'm trying. I keep missing the knife mode. All right, Leo, I'm gonna have to paralyze you for a second here, dude. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Oh, dude, fantastic. All right. So hopefully this won't affect his ability to break through here to the church. So, jeez, he keeps like trying to line up with the fountain right here. Stop it, Leroy. I'm getting very upset with you, Hane. All right, so if he hits the fountain, he hits the fountain, in which case we'll be able to do when the revolution comes, which is a separate achievement in and of itself. So there we go, fantastic. We're in the church now, which means we can grab ourselves our vulture aid. All right, so just grab this real quick for 3K, and then we'll grab our speed cola right afterwards. All right, so I'm not going to get trapped right here. Let's just play it safe. But you know we can get out of here. Usually whenever I get around Leroy, he tends to trap me in a lot of places, so I try and avoid that as much as possible. Now, let's see, where else can we break him through? We can break him through to the gun shop, as well as right here in this little part of the map where the nav card points are. No, we've already broken him through here. Huh. Guess I forgot that. So, let's see, what we can do right now, we just have to, like, grind up points for the, um, speed cola before we go and fight the witches, which will be soon enough, don't you worry. Alright. So let's just no kite these guys up, you know, train them up. This is one of my favorite training spots right here, which is in front of the saloon. As you can use all these stairwells to your advantage. You can just, like, if you have PhD Flopper, you can dive right down here and cause some serious collateral damage. But, and, and then when you do, in fact, have them all trained up right here, you can just, you know, use the Paralyzer on them. You don't get a ton of points, but if you do, in fact, have Scavenger on you, when you do grab the ammo packs, you do have, um, it adds to the timer. Like, um, it cools down faster when you grab those, so it's a fantastic thing to have. All right, so let's just train them up right here. Oh, geez, we're getting hit. All right, let's just paralyze these guys up. Got nothing to do with these weird dudes. Oh, another 400 points. You know, just kill as many of these as we can for the points. Geez, we're getting so many points here. And you, sir, you are done. Last zombie, you are dead, son. All right, so we got ourselves 400 points. So we are just 200 or 300 short. Uh, no, it's pretty much 200. <laughs> 195 points short, but we do have to buy the store, so it's a tad more now. But once we do, in fact, buy ourselves Speed Cola, we will go into the manor house, and we will uh, get ourselves two perks, and we'll live happily ever after. Now, um, I think I'll just get Leroy to drop the rest of the, the chalk drawings, since I'm not really that concerned with points. So um, once we do, in fact, get him some candy, we'll just go through with that. So let's just kite the zombies up here while we can. Now, I'm not sure if this is a dead end up here or you can actually buy through to a different area. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can buy through here and this is... Can I get through this window? Yeah, that is a window spot right there. Alright, so let's just kill these zombies. I'd rather not get trapped up here. Excuse me, zombies. I'd like to get out of here. Thank you very much. Now, it seems as though max ammo does not affect like, the uh, cooldown time of the paralyzer, which is a tad unfortunate. But it's understandable why they would do that, you know, it'd be a bit OP. But then again, <laughs> the Paralyzer in and of itself is sort of overpowered. So let's just get through here. We have a Carpenter, which is fantastic. And I guess I can't do a speed reload with this guy. Just another reason why we need ourselves some speed cola. All right, here we go, fantastic. So now we have our four perks for survival, and the rest just have to be acquired through the women. Or the Easter egg, of course, but <laughs> I don't plan on doing the Easter egg. All right, so I think it's about time to go through. I'm not going to pack a punch this round. I'm just going to go through here and get all my points. Actually, my perks, rather, but I don't have enough points to get through there. So let's just kill the rest of these zombies. I was trying to knife these guys up just so we have a bigger chance of getting through there. I believe it's like a 1,250 door. So come on, dude. Just die easy for me, please. Actually, you know what? I want to get Leroy to break through the fountain so we can do when the revolution comes which is where you jump through the fountain. So just go grab Leroy some booze real quick from the bar in here, considering there is some. Yes, there is indeed. Not Great not stuff. Brand. All right, no so let's just get through here. Hey, come on, Leroy. Oh, goodness, I got a knife him. All right, dude, we got no time for lollygagging. Oh. <laughs> this guy is a tank. He just like rams through the zombies. All right, come on now. And whenever I like try and ram through a zombie, they just like corner me and they're just like, ha <laughs> no. 
All right, so just ram him right into the fountain right here. He'll break it. This barrel will fall off, and it'll be 